why is Luanda known as the most developed city in South Central Africa? The city of Luanda has an estimated population of 8.3 million people. The marginal is a beachfront walkway that runs parallel to Luanda Bay. Nearby lies the well-preserved 16th-century fortress of Somivel, which now serves as the home of the Armed Forces Museum. From the fort, you can see the harbor and the Ilha do Cabo, a long, thin peninsula in the bay with beaches, bars, and restaurants. Luanda, sometimes known as Sao Paulo de Luanda, is the capital of Angola and is often misspelled Londa. On the Atlantic coast of northern Angola, it is the country's largest city and one of its busiest seaports. Luanda, which was first established by the Portuguese in 1576 and built by Paulo Dias de Nabais, became the administrative headquarters of the Portuguese province of Angola in 1627 and was a major conduit for slave trafficking to Brazil. The city is considered the capital of the Mbundu peoples who have roots in the area. Luanda is a modern city with skyscrapers and wide streets. The top portions of the city, which include the outlying areas, are primarily destitute, whereas the lower reaches are commercial and industrial. Stay tuned to Africa Reloaded as we travel across Luanda and learn why it is recognized as the most developed city in Central South Africa. The Geography of Luanda The city is divided into two sections, the Bakesa de Luanda, Old City, and the Sidate Alta New City. The Bakesa de Luanda is a small area with narrow alleys and ancient colonial homes near the port. New buildings on the other hand have already extended well beyond these traditional bounds and several previously independent cores, such as Vina, have been integrated into the city. The old Luanda province included the five municipalities that now make up the city of Luanda until 2011, Ikalo e Bengo and Kwakama, which were transferred from Bengo province in 2011, were added to the province in 2011. The people of Luanda. Luanda's population is estimated to be at 8.3 million people. Luanda has long been recognized as one of the most expensive cities in the world for expats. The majority of Luanda's population is Ambundu, but the Bakongo and Ovambundu ethnic groups have increased in popularity in recent years. There is a European population, with the majority of the people being Portuguese. demographic factor. The Ambundu, Ovambundu, and Bekongo ethnic groups make up the majority of Luanda's population. The official and most widely spoken language is Portuguese, but other Bantu languages are also spoken, including Kimbundu, Umbundu, and Kikongo. Luanda's population has increased in recent years, thanks in large part to migration from the rest of the country to the city, which is generally safe. In 2006, however, Violent crime in Luanda surged, particularly in the shanty districts surrounding the old city center. A significant European minority population, predominantly Portuguese, 260,000, as well as Brazilians, live in the city. Immigration from Portugal has expanded considerably in recent years, particularly since the mid-2000s, as a result of better prospects in Angola's rising economy. Economy of Luanda. Nearly one-third of Angolans live in Luanda, with 53% of the population living in poverty. Living conditions in Luanda are generally poor, with essential services such as potable water and electricity still in short supply, as well as substantial traffic congestion. Luxury constructions, on the other hand, are booming for the benefit of a privileged few. For international residents, Luanda is one of the most expensive cities in the world. After additional import duties were imposed in March 2014, Luanda got significantly more costly. For example, a half-liter tub of vanilla ice cream was reported to cost 31 US dollar at the supermarket. Additional import tariffs were imposed on hundreds of products, ranging from garlic to automobiles. The stated goal was to diversify the primarily oil-dependent economy by encouraging agricultural and industry development both of which had been neglected. In a country where the average monthly wage was 260 US dollar in 2010, the most recent year for which figures are available, these levies have caused mayhem. 
On the other side, the average monthly salary in the booming oil business was more than 20 times greater at 5,400 US dollars. Manufacturing includes processed foods, beverages, textiles, cement and other building materials, plastics, metalware, cigarettes, and shoes clothing. Despite the fact that the refinery was repeatedly destroyed during the Angolan Civil War, which lasted from 1975 to 2002, the city refines petroleum. The transport sector in Luanda Luanda's transportation sector is one of the country's primary sectors that has invested much in infrastructure development. The railway and airport infrastructures are generally at their height in the transportation industry. Luanda is the starting point for the Luanda Railway, which runs east-west to Malange. During the Civil War, the railway was completely unworkable, but it has since been repaired up to Dondo and Malange. Quattro de Fiverrero Airport, which is also the country's largest, is Luanda's main airport. Angola International Airport is a new international airport being developed southeast of the city, just a few kilometers from Viana, with an opening date of 2011. The port of Luanda is Angola's largest and busiest port, as well as one of Africa's busiest. This port is also undergoing significant expansion. At 2014, a new port will be developed in Dan, 30 kilometers to the north. Luandan culture. Angola's economic and political capital, as well as its cultural capital, is Luanda. The Syndica de Kala Foundation is one of the city's several cultural institutions. The annual Luanda International Jazz Festival has been held in the city since 2009. The city is home to a number of museums. The Anthropology Museum, National Museum of the State, the National Museum of Natural History, the Armed Forces Museum is a museum dedicated to the men and women who serve in the military, and the National Slavery Museum are just a few of the museums. Other notable landmarks in the city include the following. Somifel's Fortress, Palacio de Ferro, and So Francisco do Pinillo's Fortress. Tourism in Luanda When it comes to the tourism industry, Luanda has a lot to offer. Visitors flock to Luanda and Angola in general because of the beautiful attractions and breathtaking views. The Portuguese built the Four Tales of the Esmiel, undeniably Luanda's tourism hub, in 1576, and it still stands magnificently on the seashore of Angola's capital. Keep an eye out for the fort's other features, such as the whitewashed walls, cannons, and historic antiques. The Armed Forces Museum is located on the property and displays a huge collection of military vehicles and artillery from the 1970s. If you're interested in the convoluted story of Angola's independence and the Civil War in the 1980s and 1990s, this is a terrific place to start. If you have the opportunity to spend time with the residents of Luanda, you will be enthralled. Because of its quick growth, it is without a doubt the most developed city in South Central Africa. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel to receive updates.